Welcome to Superman Customs. How's it guys? Superman Customs here. Uh, welcome to my channel. This is the very first video I'll be posting and uh, today we'll be talking about the installation of coilovers on your City Golf Mark 1. This is my Mark 1 here. Today I'll be installing the ARC anti roll control coilovers from auto styling uh, clerk sport and uh, yeah let's get to it i'll be removing the cut springs that's on the car currently and we'll be installing the coilovers it's gonna be a nice fun video hope you guys enjoy it and let's get to it first things first the tools you guys are gonna need for this simple installation are the follow First off, you're going to need a 22mm wrench spanner, a 19mm wrench spanner, 17mm and a 13mm. We're going to use a 6mm Allen key and we've got some sockets here, the same as the spanners, so it's going to be a 13, 17, 19 ratchet, shifting spanner, jack, wheel spanner and yeah, that's about it. Okay, two. So guys, the first thing that we'll be doing is spring these three bolts here. One, two, three. For a bit of Q20, I have done that previously on both sides. We'll be doing the same thing. And then what we will need to do is with your 22mm spanner and your 6mm Allen key, lock it in place and loosen this top nut. So we will loosen it. Remember, don't loosen it right out. Loosen it till there is a bit of thread left on the nut as you will be loosening it once you remove the shock and spring. So, let me get down with this and I'll get back to you guys. Uh, let me cut you guys to a quick time lapse of me getting the car jacked up. See you guys in a bit. Let's go. Yeah, I'm like an addict, ooh, I gotta have it I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Big picture, I'm a straight killer Rice in the song to the highest bidder Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back Once, let me just switch again Once the top is removed The 13 is loosened The center nut is loosened And the 13 in the back here is loosened The next thing we will do Once we move from the wheel On the shock itself This is your shock Going to the top On the shock itself The first thing we'll do is Unclip this brake line here Like that, just locks up This is a vital part Do not forget to unclip it as You can tear your brake line and then Yeah, that will be a problem, brake fluid will leak out The next step that we will be doing is Removing these two bolts Now this top bolt is a camber adjustment bolt So the best would be to mark it To mark it before removal and then when you're putting it back try to line up that mark and your camber should be set but yeah next part of it is to remove these two bolts i'll put you guys on a time lapse and i'll see you yeah please tell me that i can't that i won't that i fail that i'll never make it out yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top So you better back off, I get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down As you guys can see, that was a quick and easy Quick and easy way to take out the old one There is my coil over next to you the load spring i will show you guys a secret on the coilovers now on how to get more loads a secret i like to do so 
so if you like you could go this route with me first things first is we take off this retaining nut on the top it's a lock nut move the top hand remove the top spring remove your palm stop and remove your helper spring once that is out install it back the spring back on that's about it this is if you guys are into the lows and would like to have more lows this is a setup to use it allows the car to drop much lower and yeah it's a better ride than uh, then with the helper the helper gives it a much stiffer ride all i do now is take the tip of the coil over push it through the center put the lock nut on put the two bolts through and put a brake line back and yeah repeat the same process on this side and we should be ready for the rears after this yeah let's go guys <laughs> So I am complete with the front installation of the coil logos, but I am in a bit of a predicament as I have the OEM VW City Flowers and my set of 17s. So I don't know which wheel to try on first and drop it low. Coil logos are in setting sweet. So yeah, let me try the City Flowers, you know, to try and get those lows. How's it guys? I just got done with the front now. Sheesh! Look at it, Fitman blue. Look at it, Fitman blue. Now, on to the rears. So we will take off the cover and you will remove this bolt here and then at the bottom it's just this bolt here which means it's shocking and for the rear it's really simple get your 17 put it on top here and you just you just open it up if it does not want to open and it's hard to open get a shifting just lock this piece on the top and open it. Once it's loose, you can just rotate it by your finger. Take it till the top. Don't take it completely out. Till the top. And yeah, let's jack up the car. Fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away.
Subscribe and tap the bell icon to turn on notifications.